encourage some of you to come out of it if you're in it. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. First, I'm going to read Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. When we were growing up in the church, the scripture was the scripture that they really kind of read to us. <laughs> King James Version says, Remember now thy Creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Amen. And I was reading in the New International Version, and this is the way it says the same scripture. It said, Remember your Creator in the days of your youth, before the days of trouble come, and the years approach when you will say, I find no pleasure in them. In other words, what he's trying to do is get us to seek him while we're young. And if you continue reading on down through that 12th chapter, the next few verses, it will begin to describe how, you, how the evil days are. Amen. Your hearing get bad, your teeth get bad, and you get fall out. You, you, you can't get where you can't stand the noise, even the little birds chirping bother you. And all kind of things bother you. And he, we don't find any pleasure in those days. Amen. As we would if we were young people. Amen. Amen. So seek him while we're young. Amen. Now, some of you, and, and, and see, those of you that know me, you know I just kind of go with what he gives me. If he pulls me away from what I got here, I just go that way. Amen. Amen. Some of you are probably asking yourself why I was asked to talk to the younger women. Yeah. I kind of ask myself that myself. <laughs> Mr. Brown said, I said, Sam, why did they ask you that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably the oldest one that's on the program today. I'm I, I, oh, probably oldest one. Why her? Well, if you think about it, I wasn't always this age. Yeah. Amen. I was a young woman once. Yeah. Amen. And I wasn't too bad. Didn't look too bad. Yeah. <laughs> the younger women. Today I'm going to talk about the wild child. The wild Please tell me how the wild. The wild child. Now, I looked up the word wild, and the dictionary had quite a few de definitions of wild. And I just picked out two or three, and one said wild means not inhabited. For example, a wild country. Amen? Then it went on to say frantic or distracted. In other words, we use the phrase say, that dress drove me wild. I'm frantic or I'm distracted. And then there was another description that said not disciplined. Unruly. The wild child. The undisciplined child. The unruly child. The wild child. Yes. I was the wild child. The unruly, undisciplined child. Yeah. Woo, help the Lord. Now, this message is not only for the younger women, but some of it may apply to some of the older women. Now, why? Because some of us Yeah. 